Hey everybody, how you doing? For those of you that are new, hi, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. And for those of you that are, you know, that keep going to my channel, you guys know what I mean. I'm not doing this retake, it is what it is, right? Welcome back. So anyway, what am I gonna do in this video? What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you guys something about making your own paper towels, okay? But these are not paper, you're gonna be using your own uh, stash of scraps. I do have a bunch of stuff that um, I have laying around, fabrics that I thought I was going to use, but then I just, you know, for some reason, never got to use it. One of them was this fleece. I bought this fleece. I guess I was thinking to myself, oh, maybe I'm gonna make scars and all that kind of stuff. Never happened. But, um, you know, I started looking around because I like to be green. I always like to do reusable items and stuff like that. So I saw that people were actually making their own paper towels, right? Instead of going to the store and always buying paper towels. And I figured this would be a great time to learn how to make these things and even make them for us for the simple fact that prices are, raised, are, are going up like crazy, right? So, you know, I figured this is a great way to keep the money in my pocket. So I thought, let me share it with you guys and show you guys what I'm doing. So anyway, these are... The paper towels and what I did was let me go grab the paper towel that I got um, this was the last paper towel that was on my roll okay and what I did was I just measured it and it's about 11 by 11 right so I said okay so I went and I got the fleece and I also had this fabric that I'm not even using and I said let me just sew them together and then I can make my own paper towel I also did this by using my serger, which is really cool because if you see right here, you can see um, it gives it a nice edge. You don't have to use a serger if you don't want to, and I'll do a paper towel to show you guys. You can just use your regular sewing machine, but you would just do it opposite, and I'll explain how to do it as I am doing this one, okay? Um, this, I've already done three. And one of the things that I noticed too is how to fold them. Some people are like, well, how, how are you gonna get them on the thing? This actually sticks together. Let me show you how you would do it. You would take the, don't throw away the, the, the roll. What you do is you just take it, put it in the middle, okay? And just roll one in, okay? Now what I'm using is I'm using fleece on one side and cotton fabric on the other, okay? The fleece kind of sticks together. This is one that I just sewed. I, I did two already, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, see the part where it's folded? Well, this is the other one. I'm just gonna lay it down. And then what you do is you just put it in the middle and then just fold it over. And just keep folding. And as you can see, it kind of stays to itself. All right, so then you could just put it in your paper towel holder if you want and stuff like that. And then when you're using it, just take one from the stash, okay, and use it. And you can use it as many times as you want. And then when you're done using it, just take it, throw it in the washing machine, put it in the dryer, then take it out. And then you can just put it right back on here. So I decided, you know, I was telling my husband, I said, hey, let's just squeeze some pennies and stuff. Um, and let's try these out and see how they work, you know, and I think they're going to work just great. So I am making some for us right now. So I wanted to show you how I am actually doing this one, okay? But as I show you how I do it, I'm also going to explain how to do it on a regular sewing machine and also on a serger, okay? So let me bring your camera over here, over to the cutting table, and lower you down so you guys can see exactly what I am doing. All right, so, okay, so this is the fleece that I'm working with, okay? This is just a whole roll of it, and um, as you can see right here, can you see it? No, you can't. Okay, let me bring you guys up a little bit higher. All right, cool. As you can see right here, I bought a lot of it. It was on sale. I thought it was pretty. I bought it. Didn't know what I was going to use it for, but I guess now I'm going to use it for that for um, paper towels. Well, it's not paper towels. I think some people actually call this as unpaper towels, something like that. But anyway, hey, whatever, whatever, you know, you guys want to call it, I say go for it. All right. So what you do is take a piece of 
cotton and you cut it by 11 by 11. Now what happened was I had some scraps and what I did was I just sewed these two pieces together, okay? And then I just went to the iron and I just ironed it out. Another thing you could do is you could really have a lot of fun with this. Let's say that you have like a bunch of little different scraps. Just sew them all together, iron them all out, and then you could do like a quilt pattern or whatever it is that you want. You know what I'm saying? This is your paper, your your towel. So you can, oh, God, that's cardio. So you can do whatever you want with it, all right? Um, so what I do is I, if you're using a serger, like I'm going to use a serger, what you do is make sure that the ugly sides are touching each other, right? Because what you're going to do is you're going to take it to the serger, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew it all the way down all four corners, okay? And then that's it. Then I'm done, right? Now, let's say that you don't have a serger and you want to sew this on your regular sewing machine, right? Well, what you would do is you would do it the opposite. The pretty sides of the fabric, you want them facing each other, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're gonna leave like an opening, okay? You're going to back stitch right here. You're gonna stitch around, stitch here, stitch down here, stitch up here, go up here, and you're gonna back stitch. You're gonna have an opening, right? When you have the opening, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it inside out. And then what you're gonna do is then you're going to um, just top stitch it. As a matter of fact, because I'm explaining it, it could be a little more difficult for, for especially for people that are new is sewing to, um, to know how to do this on a single needle machine. So what I'm gonna do is I will just go ahead, instead of using my serger, because the serger is pretty straightforward, you just stick it in the machine and it cuts the thread for you and it actually um, just sews everything together. Let's just do this on the um, regular machine. You know, as a matter of fact, I'll do it on my SC1900, okay? And stuff. So, so let's just do that. All right, so I have the pretty sides, right? They're all touching, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna clip all the way around just to keep the two pieces together. And as you can see, I have some little raw edges, but it doesn't matter because this is gonna be inside. You know, I mean, my stuff doesn't have to be perfect. This is for me, so. And I see that some people actually sell this stuff too. They actually sell a couple of the rolls and stuff um because this if you really think about it it's a great way for you to really um save money now i can see that i already kind of cut my stuff a little uneven and stuff but that's okay see if i did the serger i would just go straight down but i'm gonna do the same thing with the sewing machine i'm just gonna go straight down too so i'll just fold this over and then I'll just go straight down. All right, so let's go over to, let me move you guys over here so you guys can see I have my surgery and my sewing machine. I'm gonna turn on my SC1900 and let's see how this turns out for me. I've been doing it on the surgery and of course it comes out great because it kind of cuts the fabric and everything, but um, this is gonna be interesting to see how it's gonna come out for the simple fact that I don't have my foot on here. I'm not very great at sewing straight. Okay, I can, any direction but straight, but let's see. All right, we'll see what happens. All right, so if you don't know, if you're gonna remember where your starting points are, um, you can take a, a pencil or a pen, let's see what this is, yeah. Right, and then what you can do and I want to make sure that you're seeing everything that I'm doing. Yep, you are. What you can do is take a pencil or a pen and stuff, and in the inside, just do like a little line right here, like, you know, two inches and stuff, just so that you can make sure that you know where to start to sew and then where to stop when you're going around, okay? So right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start... Yep, 
straight stitch. Where's my paddle for this? There we go. All right, okay. So let's, uh, yeah, I gotta go super fast. I'm gonna do a medium quick. If I go super fast and stuff, sometimes the machine kind of runs from me. Okay, so back stitch because you want to make sure. You get to the corner, just turn it around, and just take out the clips as you're sewing. And it can go a little faster. And my thread went belly up because I had this closed. I should have had this open. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. It got all knotted. Okay. I'm going to leave this in the video, guys, cause so that you guys can see I make mistakes, too. What the heck, you know? Well, this is a bad video. Yeah, I got to lift this up. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I made a boo-boo. Made a boo-boo. I make them, too. Okay, so, you know. Let's see. Let me go back here. One, two, three... Or just as human as everybody else. Okay, so. All right, so let me uh, go back here. Maybe cut the bobbin at the back. Because I see that the bobbin's on here. All right, let's get all this extra thread out of there. There we go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back where I was stitching and I'm going to go back and forth a little bit there you go and then let's keep going let me move this to the side it should be on the side it shouldn't be in the back okay That's, that can make it turn kind of funky on me you know all right, let's go. Here we go. All right. I got a feeling this is going to be smaller than the ones that I did in the, the serger, but that's all right. And as you can see, I'm just doing squares. I'm just going around. Okay. And then as you can see, this is where it's all like kind of funky, but that's all right. Just keep going. We're going to cut all that. Boy, I sure hope I am going straight. Oop, I got that little clip in there. Let me take it out. All right. The thing is, you want to make sure that you catch all of it. And I think this one's going to be a smaller towel than the others, but that's all right. It doesn't bother me. Should have went a little more, but that's okay. You guys get the concept. Here we go. All right, so this is the last section. All right, let me take this pin out. And then right where, you know, you have that two markings and stuff, right at the other marking, that's, I'm gonna back stitch. Right here. And then I'm gonna cut, and then I'm done. All right, so, and right here, what I'm going to do is in the corners and stuff, I'm just gonna cut it at an angle. You don't cut the stitch though, okay, and stuff. All four corners, just cut at an angle, but you don't, do not cut that, that stitch, okay? There you go. All right, so that's that. Now, one of the things you can do, which I'm going to do, is right up here i have some pinky smears or pinchy smears y'all know what i mean it's the thing that cuts kind of zigzag it's so that it can get rid of the bulk because what will happen is when you turn it inside out it can get kind of bulky so i'm just gonna cut this excess off 
basically, if you think about it, this is kind of like what the serger kind of cuts, you know, so that way you don't have that bulk. So I'm just going to keep going like this. I'm not going to cut the area where I have that because I want to turn that inside out. So, And I'm going to show you what I did. All right. So this is that little opening that I have. I really didn't cut this because it's going to sew in. I'll show you and stuff. Just cut around it. Cut here and then cut here. Just don't cut too much on the other end because you want to have something to fold in. Okay? The other sides you can cut. Now I will tell you, these are the Ginger Brand um, Pinky Spears. They're good, but they kind of hurt my hand. They're kind of tough on the hand. That's why I kind of like using the rotary cutter with the Pinky Spears a lot better sometimes. But to use that, I have to go to the cutting table. So I'll just use these. I mean, I bought them, so I might as well use them, right? You know and stuff but i will tell you they are they're okay um you know it's just i just think that they they're kind of tough on the hands so if you have, you have problems with your hands like arthritis or something like that i would look at the rotary cutter to do that okay that's just my opinion you know just something to think about all right, so now that we have it like this, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it inside out. Now to turn it inside out, I usually just go all the way in here and then I take a corner and then I take the corner and I kind of like, you know, turn the corner inside out and then I poke it out here and then I kind of like pull, you know, be gentle. Don't like, you know, when, cause you don't want, you know, you just wanna turn it inside out. That's what you wanna do, okay? All right, so you see it's coming inside out. And then what you want to do is try to, you know, poke out the corners. I kind of put my finger in the corners to try to poke them out. There we go. These look kind of cute. Not bad. I think I did okay. It looks like a little small towel, but that's okay. I think if you are going to use this method, I was cutting it at 11 by 11, right? So maybe you should do 11 and a half by 11 and a half because you have to leave seam allowance so that you can, um, you know, turn it inside out. And then see, this is what I mean. You want to be able to like fold this in here okay that way and then i would just put a pin a, a little clip there so you can keep it closed so that way you can like top stitch and then you have top stitch all the way around okay so before i top stitch it though i think i'm going to take an iron to it and i gotta move my machines and everything over hold on let me move this over here so, you know, it's really amazing because it's like this room was really like empty and then like you start uh, embroidering and stuff like that. And next thing you know, you end up with a whole bunch of stuff all over. So it's like, uh, it's like, okay, now be careful with the iron because this is fleece. So I don't know how fleece and the iron would work too much. So I'm just going to iron it, but on this side where the cotton is, and I just want to iron it flat. And it will also give you the opportunity to iron the part that I'm going to sew right here to iron that flat as well and stuff. Can you guys see? I want to make sure. Yeah, you guys can see. Okay, so there you go. All right, so I think it's good. The iron's good. All right, so I'm just going to pass it through because I just want to make sure it's nice and flat. And it is. And I also just want to pass it through where I'm going to close that opening. There you go. There. All right. I really like this iron. I like it because it doesn't have any wires. Now, I'm going to um, put a, my clip right here again because I want to make sure that I top stitch that close 
and put another one too, just to be double sure. All right, now I'm going to move you over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just top stitch all the way around the whole thing, okay? So let me just pull my thread, put that in there, there you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna top stitch it that way. And always back stitch, there we go. And you know, just try to top stitch um, like a qu quarter or something, you know, real close to the edge, but it doesn't have to be super close, but just close to the edge. Turn it over and just so straight. It's just to give it a, a top stitch all the way around. Okay, and then we'll go around this way and I'm gonna stop right here All right the other way this is the last the last side that needs to be stitched on okay just to give it a finishing a finished look. Okay, then back stitch. Cut. Alright, do I have any loose threads? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm just gonna cut these. So this is done. So I got this towel done, all finished. See, nice and neat and stuff. Let's go over to the uh, the table. Let's go over to the table so we can see. Um, I think I believe this is going to be smaller than the others. Well, it's about the same. It's okay. So what I would do with this is I would just put it right smack in the middle, and then I would just wrap it around. And I have another towel. See? And then I could just put these in the towel holder that I have downstairs in the kitchen. And then when someone needs a towel, they can just take one out and use it and stuff. And then just put it on the side. And then when it gets like super duper dirty, right? Um, we'll throw it in the washing machine. And then after that, then we'll reuse them and keep using them. So guys, I just wanted to share this idea. I think it's a neat one. Um, you know, I'm trying to do, um, you know, all these reusable items and stuff because I think this is like really, really super neat. And, you know, like I said, you know, let's get real, guys. Prices are up there, okay? So anything that you can keep in your pocket, I think it's worth it, you know? Especially if you already have this stuff at home. Right? If you already have it, why not? You're not using it. Use it for, for something that, you know, that can save you some money. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do embroidery happy hour every Friday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So hope you guys have a great week and save those pennies. I'll talk to you later. Bye.